Welcome to Lethal Engineering, the deadliest show on the internet. I recently purchased a Creality CR10 3D printer, and the first thing I 3D printed was this uh, T-Rex skeleton that I found on Thingiverse. I liked it so much that I decided to make a very large version of the skull. So I 3D printed a 500% version of the skull. So I've got the jaw complete, and let me show you, it's a monster. I printed this at five times the scale of the original model. I guess I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. Let me pull this off of the print bed. Total print time of that piece was 37 hours and 23 minutes. And that's my longest print ever, so far. Until I print the, uh, the skull. That'll then be the longest print. So let's take a look at this jaw print. Overall, the quality is pretty, uh, pretty poor. I don't know if it's necessarily the printer's fault or the fact that it's just such a large print and the amount of area that it had contact with the bed was very little. So I think as it was printing, you know, the print's shifting just a little bit as, as the print head runs across, causing these really uneven layer lines that I'll have to sand off. So all the layer lines. There's also one major defect, and that was right here. There's a, there's a notice, there's a big gap right here in the print. And what I think happened is there was a, there was a support that was holding up right here, and the support kind of buckled a little bit. So there was a little shift in that layer. I'll add some epoxy there and uh, some Bondo type substance to fill that in. And then hopefully you won't be able to tell when I sand it out. Overall though, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. On the second try of doing this, it worked out. Using a raft instead of the brim was the, was the big thing. I got a lot better adhesion. And when I got that good bed adhesion, then I got it to print completely. This was a 36 hour print. I'm now working on the skull, the other half of the head which is supposed to be like a two day and change print. So I think I'm gonna run out of film it before then. So 59 hours later, the top portion of the skull is finally complete. That's the longest print I've ever printed on the CR-10. That's pretty much two and a half days of continuous printing. A lot of work for our little buddy. Yeah, he did a good job. So massive. Okay, 737 grams. Quality wise, the quality is not very good. There's a lot of variation between the different layer lines and all of my, none of my supports actually stayed together. So there's these big chunks of support material that'll need to be removed. I guess overall I'm pleased that it actually finished printing correctly after the first floor failed attempts. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is remove all of the support material from inside and the bottom as well, the raft from the bottom. And then I'll sand it down, add some of that XTC 3D and then paint it. <laughs> oh boy, that's kind of absurd looking, isn't it? Let's sand that down and then add some paint to it. There's this crack that I'm gonna to try to patch up with this acryl green um, filler stuff from 3M. So I've sanded down my uh, skull and the jaw. I'm also applying some uh, filler material to try to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is 
methods, I'm going to use this uh, XTC 3D to hopefully smooth over all of the uh, 3D print lines, which are still uh, really visible right now. So I'm not sure what I keep messing up with this XTC 3D, but uh, I applied two coats to both the uh, skull portion and the jaw, and I still keep getting all of these like rough spots on it. They, they sand off, but it's advertised that it just applies a nice smooth finish. I mean, I've tried kind of putting a light coat on, and then I've also tried putting on a thick coat. Um, when I put the thick coat on, it does give me some a lot of smooth areas but it also starts dripping really badly. So I've got like really nice drip patterns along here. You know, I've got areas that are covered really well and then areas that aren't covered at all. And I don't know if I just missed them when I was uh, applying it or what, but uh, yeah, I haven't had really any good results with XTC 3D yet. Maybe I just need more practice. Let me know if you've got any tips for how I should be using it so that I A, get good coverage, smooth coverage, and B, so I don't get any drips, and C, so that it doesn't have any rough spots. Uh, I was thinking maybe because I sand it first, maybe I'm not getting off all of the sanded particles, and that's leading to some like rough buildup maybe. I don't know. I'm now gonna go uh, prime and paint these. Let's talk about paint. I was thinking some multicolored paint scheme, something like those Day of the Dead skulls, but then I realized that'd be too complicated. And then it hit me. Why not paint it gold? Why gold, you might ask? Well, have you ever seen anybody with a golden T-Rex skull? I don't know anybody who knows anybody that has a gold T-Rex skull. I think it's something that you'd see in like a billionaire's house or an episode of Cribs with some famous rapper. Let me, let me show you the finished result. After several coats of gold paint, this is what I ended up with. And it's just as outrageous as it looks in the video. I thought it looked ridiculous, and it does. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It's super gaudy and tasteless, but it brings a huge smile to my face every time I see it. Now I just need to find a place in my home to keep it. I tried a couple places around my house for my new gold T-Rex skull. Zook, come here, buddy. Come here. Are you afraid of the T-Rex? Buddy, what's wrong? Rah. Oh, poor Zook. I tried it as a table centerpiece, which went really well with our Christmas decorations. I tried it as a fruit basket. And then I also tried it as a lampshade. This is probably my favorite use of the gold T-Rex skull. My wife didn't think it went well with any of the decor, but then I had a great idea. There's a certain special someone who had a birthday last month. What do you get the man who has everything? A man who loves all things gold. He may have forgotten his wife's birthday, but I didn't forget about him. I just hope he doesn't love it so much that he decides to gold plate the T-Rex at the Smithsonian. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you might also like some of my other videos. You might also consider uh, subscribing down below. I've got some other cool projects in the pipeline. Take it easy.